So, you've watched my other video, or perhaps you just want to create a backup in general, um, and you're not entirely sure how to do it. Well, for Java Edition Minecraft users, I'm going to teach you how. Now, I must stress, this is only for Java Edition. If you're on Bedrock Edition, there are other ways to do it, but I'm not going to be covering them in this tutorial, um, and I'd recommend searching up on YouTube how to do that. But first of all, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to close the game, and we're going to have to boot it in a snapshot version. Alright, so we're in the Minecraft launcher currently, so for those of you that don't know how to boot into a snapshot, um, you have these things called installations. Now these allow you to play different versions of the game, but also allow you to play in snapshot versions. So if you click over here, it will give you a list of all of your different installations that are already created. Typically if you've never messed with this before, you just have the latest release. Um, I obviously, I have a modded version and I have two other versions uh, that I use for some testing stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to create ourselves a snapshot installation. So if you go new installation, and we'll call this snapshot. Uh, obviously you can call this whatever you like. Um, and of course you can change the icon if you like. I'm going to put it as a cake for the minute, just so it's quite easy to uh, see when we're looking through bits. Now the world we were just in was actually in 1.16. And the reason I did this rather than 1.21 is because there's no uh, snapshots that have been released that I can see since 1.21 and you need to be in a snapshot in order for it to create a backup. So I chose 1.16 just because it's a very old version. I know there's quite a few snapshots since then. Um, so it doesn't really matter which one we're gonna go for. We'll go for 23W04A. Uh, just because that's a 1.19 pre-release snapshot, so there's plenty of uh, time between 1.16, um, you know, so it's definitely, definitely a newer version of the game. We don't need to change anything for the game directly or anything for the resolution, unless of course you do that typically, um, and you don't need to change any of these options here. You can change these to allocate more RAM and whatnot, but for this purpose, uh, if you, especially if you're just creating a backup, this is entirely unnecessary to change, so all you need to focus on are the names and version. Once you do that, you click create, it will bring you back to the installations page, and if you click on play, and on this drop down, you look for your snapshot version that you've created. Obviously I've got the cake here to make it really easily identifiable, we'll click on that, and we'll click play. Okay, so we are in Minecraft 23W04A snapshot, uh, the, you can see with the 1.19 kind of background, that that's loaded in successfully. Now if we go to single player, uh, we can see our world that we had, obviously I've created one called example backup, ready for the backup process. And you can see the version from that was 1.16.5. So this is of course a very outdated version. Um, this snapshot is an updated version of the game since that point. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna click on it to select it. And once we try and load into it, it will say uh, you are on a snapshot version um, do you want to create a backup in case the uh, world has any corruptions now regardless of whether you're planning to play on the snapshot um, if you have uh, say a version 1.20 uh, world or uh, older what i would suggest is playing in a snapshot version so that you can create these backups before you load it in 1.21 um, because it's going to say create backup and load even if the snapshot messes it up, you're still going to have that backup that you can reload in 1.20. Um, but most times it's never going to really create any issues with your world um, and it will load in perfectly fine. Um, obviously, once you do that, you'll then have a backup there uh, that you can always use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the backup and that will start backing up. Um, you can see backed up example backup size 11 megabytes so it's it's taken up a very small space off the disk um, and obviously this protects you in the event your world does get corrupted um, any point in the future there's so many things that go wrong your PC could blue screen you could lose power to your uh, to your PC you know all, all sorts could happen I've, I've heard people have uh, loaded their world in severely kind of old game versions um, say like 1.8 by accident because they've been playing pvp servers and then they can't get their world back because they never created a backup i don't know why uh, mojang doesn't offer this as a core feature in minecraft where you can just back up your world then and there uh, but this is the easiest way to do it um, and as you can see we've loaded straight back in to our world that we had two seconds ago obviously we've upgraded from 1.16 to 1.19 and we've had no issues whatsoever but now there'll be a backup uh, file in the folder um in our .minecraft folder that is 
And if if you guys ever need to restore the um, that that file from the folder, I have plenty of other videos explaining how to do that. Um, one is dropping at the exact same time as this video is dropping, um, or roundabouts anyway. So I would strongly recommend, you know, if you have any issues uh, where you need to use a backup, obviously follow that tutorial in the future. Um, but yeah, if you can. Do this backup, you know, wherever possible. Don't just upgrade to the latest version of Minecraft. I know it, it, it takes a few minutes and it does, you know, you just want to get on with the game. Uh, but if you ever have a game corruption, you'll thank me in the future. Alright, that's going to be it for this tutorial. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.